Hi everyone, it's Bradley from Print 2 3D, and today I'm going to show you the prototype transmission for the first robotics team, number 222. This prototype is for the 2011 game, and all the white parts were printed on our FDM machine. So let's give you a nice up close shot and break it down. So here we have the drive motor. Now in competition we're going to plan on using two of these motors, which is why this other uh, port is here for the other motor to go into. This here is our shifting cylinder. This is a two-speed transmission. These here are springs to allow some play uh, when it shifts. There are a total of six gears in this transmission two for the drive motors and four for the gearbox. Right here is the output shaft where our sprocket's going to go to drive our wheels. These here are one inch diameter inside diameter bearings and these metal pieces in here are thrust bearings. So let's take it apart and see what it looks like inside. So thanks to our design, we only need two tools to take our transmission apart. And those are hex keys. So this 40 tooth gear here is what the sim motors drive and the 20 tooth is also attached to the 40 tooth through this little adapter here. And we have quarter inch inside diameter bearings running on a quarter inch precision ground shaft. So here's the thrust bearings. There are a total of three of these. Now here is the ball lock transmission shaft. Now watch as I take this apart. As you can see, these little balls rolled all over the workbench. There are a total of eight of these in the ball lock shifting shaft. Now in the shifting gears, there are four grooves in which these balls lock or retract from, like this. Again, here is the shaft. There are a total of eight holes, 90 degrees apart. And here's what the inside looks like. This here is the shifting plunger. This is what pushes the balls into the slots in the gears. Now 
as you can see, when the balls are retracted, the gear spins freely. So here's the shifting cylinder with the plunger attached. This plunger also spins on this bolt. Okay, so now I got four balls in the shaft. As you can see right now, it spins freely. So I'm going to go ahead and insert the plunger. And that's going to lock the gear to the shaft. As you can see, the balls are now locked in the slots. I retract the plunger. spins freely. Oh. So as you can see, these are all the parts to the gearbox.